Hey everyone, in today's video, I want to show you how to make a grid in Jinja. So what I mean by a grid is something that has a number of rows and columns that you want to display with kind of a variable number of elements that you can expect. So in this particular one, I have eight elements and I can easily arrange it in a two by four grid. And I can also change this to a four by two grid and it will still work. If I had nine, for instance, I can have a three by three grid and it would work. So that's what I want to show you how to make in this video. So if I go over to my code, uh, what I have is I have a list of elements that goes up to uh, the word 12th, so first through 12th, and then I'm going to use that list of elements to create a grid. So right now I just have plain HTML, and this is the Bulma framework, by the way, the CSS framework, and everything is hard-coded. But what I want to do is I want to basically make it to where I can pass in these elements, and it's going to display them in the grid format that I want. So what I'll do is I'll get rid of one of these, so when I save this, I end up with just a single row because the reason why I'm doing this is because I want to loop over something, which will be those elements. So what I can do is I need to think of the parts that get repeated. So basically when you're creating a grid, two different things get repeated. You have the rows that get repeated, which are the columns here. So div class columns, it's just the name in Bulma, but this is actually a row. And then you have the column class in Bulma, which is actually a column. So you repeat the rows over. So if you have five rows, you're going to loop over the rows five times. And if you have, let's say, four columns, then you're going to loop over columns four times. But as you know, with a for loop, it's not that straightforward to just say you want to loop over something like that because I have this list of elements that is just one through 12. When I want to loop over them in a way to where there's an inner loop and an outer loop. So to achieve that effect in Jinja, what you're gonna use is the batch filter. So to do that, first I'm gonna create my loop over the rows. So for row in and then elements, remember. So that's my loop over the rows. And then I can end the for loop down here. And what I wanna do is I'm gonna take the batch filter and say batch, and then I can pass in the number for each batch. So as you could imagine, if I have 12 elements and I say batch three, it's going to create batches of three. So I'll have four batches of three, which means I'll have four rows, and then each row will have three columns. So now that I have these batches that get inserted into the row here, I can create the columns. So four, say column in row, just like that. And then we can end it after one column because we're just going to repeat the same thing over and over again. So in four, and I can delete all this down here. And now we have our two loops, and here is where I can put the column, right? And this will be a value for my list. So now if I go here and refresh, we see I have four rows and three columns. And if I wanna have three rows and four columns, that's pretty easy to do. In this particular situation, I just change this to four and refresh. And now I have three rows and four columns. If I want to have, let's say, two rows and six columns, I can do that. And by the way, Bulma is taking care of the column count. If you're using something where you have to be more explicit about the columns, then you have to put that in your code. But with Bulma, what it does is it counts the number of columns that you have, and it will space them evenly and make them all the same width. So if I change this to six and refresh, now I have two rows of six. And what I mean by Bulma doing something, if I change this to a number that isn't, um, that 12 isn't divisible by, let's say five, let's take a look at what happens. Refresh. So we have two rows of five, and then we have uh, 11th and 12th down here. So this is just how Bulma works. It's not really a fault of Jinja. So you have to make sure the styling works for your case. But the idea is you just use the batch filter. So if I make this a lot longer, let's say it's 12 elements. Let's say I make it 120 elements just so we can see it. So times 10 and then refresh this. So now we see a lot more. And of course, at the end, well, no, because five goes into 120 evenly. So it looks good. So however many columns you want, you just put that in the batch. And then you can have two loops, an inner loop and an hour loop to generate your grid in Jinja. So this is great if you're using Flask, of course, because Jinja is the default template language for Flask, but you can also use it in Django if you choose to use Jinja over the default template language in Django. 
So that's it for this video. If you have any questions about how to create these grids or if I didn't explain something clearly, just feel free to leave a comment down below. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please subscribe. So thank you for watching and I will talk to you next time.